In today's video I will show you how you can send bulk emails as a massive email campaign. You may call it email marketing or email advertisement or you need to send many many emails to different clients. So we will have the data in one Google Sheet and you can put the data of 100 clients or customers and a customized email will be sent to all of them by just pressing one button. Here are the features you will get from this solution. 1. You can send bulk emails to multiple clients. 2. You can use different email templates and subjects by simply specifying a predefined template for each client. 3. You can add different attributes for your email campaigns and use those in the email templates. 4. You can specify one PDF of your company profile or the product and that PDF will be attached to the email automatically. 5. Other than PDF, you can specify any link for example Google Drive file or folder link. 6. Last but not the least, this solution will use your email signature at the end, just like when you send a manual email. So let's see the solution in action. These two green headers are compulsory attributes. The first is the email of the client and the second is the email template that you want to use, for example template 2 is specified here. These templates are provided in a separate Google Doc. In this doc we have a table with three columns. The first is simply the number of the template. The second is the email body template, and the third is the subject of the email. Then same for the second template. And you can add as many templates as you wish. I have created 20 rows in this table for 20 templates which I guess are more than enough, however if you need more you can simply add more rows to this table. After the green headers, these are two orange color headers which are for the PDF file and any other link and are optional. You can use these if you want to attach a PDF or some other Google Drive file or any other link. Here in the PDF header, I have specified Google Drive link of one PDF file and you will see that the PDF will be attached as an attachment with the email. Then these are white color headers for other information you want to include with the email. The good thing is that you can use the values of these attributes in your email body. For example in the email template, see that I have mentioned first name inside the two curly braces. So while creating the email body this will be replaced by the value of this attribute from this sheet, which is sun in this case. Likewise we have date inside the two curly braces and this will get replaced by the date value from the sheet. The best thing is that we can add as many attributes here as we wish. For example let's add one more attribute as price. And if you want to use the value of price in email body all you need is to place the attribute name inside two curly braces. So add as many attributes as you wish and use those in email template as I have shown here. Let's give it a try. I added price detail in template 1 of the email so I will specify the template as 1 here. Now here you can see a customized menu bar option as email menu. Go over there and press send emails. Script is running. Finished script. The email must have been sent. Let's see the sent items. Here is the email sent. Check that it is using the first name of the client from the sheet entry. Here we specified the price and value in sheet was 25. Check here the price is replaced by the value 25. Likewise we have date here and it is replaced by the date value from the sheet. Finally see that the email template ends at the word best. And in the email we have the signature of your email appended after that. One more thing to see is that this PDF file is there as an attachment and not as a Google Drive link. And if you will delete the file from the Drive link after the emails have been sent, still the PDF attachment will stay there. Now I will copy a couple of more client detail. All three have email templates set to one so I will change that to two for one client. So in that way you can put many clients here and can set the templates for them. Now I will also explain the idea behind this column named as link. If other than PDF you want to send some file in Google Drive or complete Google Drive folder you can specify the link here. Even this could be any link other than Google Drive. Let's say, I want to send this demo folder with email. So I will put the link in this column.
just note that it can be a different link for different clients. And just like any other attribute, we can use this in the email body by putting it inside the double curly braces. So we have two email templates with two different email subjects. Now let's press the send emails button. The emails have been sent. These are the three emails sent and see they have the email subject corresponding to the template we chose. Here inside the email we can see the URL of the drive folder. This is the second email with other template. Actually one of these clients email is my own second account and let's see what we get there. Here is the email. We have the PDF attached. If we open this link, we have the access problem. So just don't forget to allow the access to the folder or file you are sending with URL. And now the recipient will have the access. One thing I forgot to mention is that the Google Sheet and the Google Doc with the email template are linked together. In this cell C1 of Google Sheet we need to provide the URL of the email template doc. Now the most important thing is how you can use this solution at your end. I will provide you with the link to these two files. You will open the Google Sheet on your browser. I am showing you that on my other account. You will not have the editor rights to this file. So you should create the copy of this file. You can rename the file and can select the drive folder as well to keep this file. Just close the original file. If you don't see the customized email menu on the menu bar simply refresh it. And it will appear in a while. Then open the URL of email template doc. Again you don't have the editor rights, so just make the copy of this doc as well. You got the two files. The first thing is you need to replace the URL of email template on cell C1 with your email template doc. And you are good to go. I will delete the first entry which basically is the email account I am currently using. On the template let's do a little change to see if it picks the correct template. I will just change one name here to Abdullah Shiraz. Another important feature I would like to show here is about formatting the email text, for example if I want to have the date as bold text, so can I make it bold here? The answer is no. This is read as text and treated as HTML text. So we can use different HTML tag options in this text. For example to have a bold text the HTML tag is B, which is written in this format. Now whatever is inside this tag will be converted to bold text. Likewise, instead of printing the link as complete URL, if you want to have that as hyperlink you can use the A tag. There we need to provide the URL in href attribute and then the text which will convert to the clickable object. Let's test the execution. I will change the template as template 1. When we run any Google app script for the first time on Sheet or any other Google workspace, it issues a security warning and asks for authorization. Simply follow these couple of steps to grant the authorization. Authorization is completed and it will not ask for it again. Let's run the script again. The emails must have been sent. These are the two emails sent. Just to confirm we have the updated name here as used in template. The date is there in bold. 
and see that we have the hyperlink here. Similarly for the second email. Also see that now it has used the signature of the current email account. One more option I have provided in this menu is to clear the sheet data. When executed it will delete the client's data and will keep the header there. Moreover Google provides a quota to use different cloud services, and number of emails we can send with simple Google account has a limit of 100 per day. So here I have provided another option that would indicate the remaining quotas of emails for that day. Two emails were sent and hence the remaining quota is 98 emails. Let me show you details about this quota. It is 100 per day for normal account and for G Suite accounts it is 1500 per day for different domain emails and 2000 per day for within the domain. Finally if you want to access the script I have written behind this solution that is attached to this sheet. For that you can go to the option extensions and then app script or simply search app script and help. It will open a new window with the Google Sheet script. In general you don't need to access this script since all options to tailor the solution as per your need is there on the sheet and email template document. I hope you will find this solution quite handy. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.